So earlier in 2023, nothing came up with its fresh CMF range, which stands for cheap mother f***er. I can't actually verify that, but then when has that ever stopped YouTubers from stating facts? And one of the first products to hit the CMF range is the Nothing Watch Pro, which costs just £69 here in Blighty. You can grab it from the Nothing store in Soho. It's also available through various websites. And it's worth tracking down because it boasts a premium style metallic design. That slick Nothing vibe. You've got a built-in mic and speaker. You've got a gorgeous AMOLED display. And frankly, it's not just a cheap mother f It's a clever mother f too. So anyway, here's my full unboxing and review of the Nothing Watch Pro. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So first up, it's quite a simple, straightforward box, as you would expect at this price. Let's get the wee bugger open. At least you don't have to completely destroy the box to get into it like you do with the Nothing phones. So over on this side, we've got a quick tour of the watch's physical attributes, plus a QR code for downloading the CMF watch app. And then over here, we've got the watch body. We've got a single silicon watch strap. We've got a proprietary charging cable. It's one of those fiddly wee magnetic efforts. And an incredibly dinky user guide as well. I just hope your eyes aren't as crap as mine. Anyway, there you go, pet. That's everything in the box. Ooh, all right, so we've zipped forward in time. I've had the Nothing Watch Pro slapped on my arm for a good few days now. And I've got to say, I do really like it. Now, first up, the design, obviously rather chunky. You've got that flat edged vibe similar to the Nothing phone. I can see the design being quite divisive. I rather like it, even though it is quite chunky. And while most budget-friendly smartwatches under £100 are constructed from plastic and feel rather cheap, the Nothing Watch actually has an aluminium alloy casing. And you've got a choice of just a couple of colours, same as with the Nothing phones, either dark or metallic grey. And you'll barely feel this thing on your wrist either. The casing weighs just 30 grams, it's about 50 grams with the straps attached. And this watch is IP68 water and dust resistance. You don't need to whip it off if you jump in a bubbly bath. And those silicon straps are easily removable and replaceable if you want to stick on, say, a metal band for going out in the evening, something like that. However, the bundled silicon straps are absolute dust and grime magnets. They just pick up so much shit. So in no time at all, they do look pretty skanky. You'll have to be constantly wiping them down. But I have found that the Nothing Watch Pro has been comfortable to wear. I've had no reactions from the strap or anything like that. So overall, for this price, I've got to say, I'm impressed. Now, of course, for your watch to actually fully function, you'll want to connect it to your smartphone. And to do that, you'll need to download the CMF Watch app, which is available from the Google Play Store and also Apple's App Store. The setup and everything was nice and straightforward, but I have found that the Nothing Watch Pro isn't particularly keen on constantly staying connected to your smartphone. Often that connection will drop after a few hours or so, so you'll need to be constantly checking your notifications just to make sure the CMF Watch one is still there and still says connected. Because I can't say for sure if it's a bug with the watch or if it's just my phone being a dick instead, but I have heard other people having a similar problem, so it seems to be a common thing. And as for the app, well, that sports the same distinctive nothing design that you'll find on all of its smartphones, so load it up, you'll get a quick view of all of your main stats. From here, you can jump straight into an exercise session, otherwise, if you tap here, you can set up your smartwatch. So, for instance, you've got the dial gallery if you fancy changing up that watch face. There's a mix of analogue and digital, some very streamlined, some with a bit more information packed in there. And most of them, of course, retain in that nothing style, but there's not as great a variety as what you'll get on quite a lot of other smartwatches. And certainly as far as the colours go, we're basically talking black, white and orange here. But if you spot one you like, just give it a wee poke and it'll pop up on your wrist in a matter of seconds. And inside of Nothing's app, you can also pick your preferred activities for the fitness tracking. And there's absolutely bloody loads on here, so you should be able to find whatever you're into. Even swinging, apparently, if you're into that. Got to admit, some of this stuff I've never even heard of. Kabaddi? I don't know what's going on in that picture, but I think I've seen that on Pornhub. Girl, they've even got Australian football, although I'm not entirely sure you can buy this watch in Australia. The Nothing Watch Pro also supports notifications, and you can see exactly which apps are allowed to notify you. It's got various health-related settings, definitely knock off the bloody water and standing up reminders. You can set up an alarm, you do not disturb, etc. You've got a full user guide as well if you're struggling with any bit of it, but it's pretty straightforward stuff. I've not had to refer to this once, to be honest. Now, the actual display on the Nothing Watch Pro is a cockroach's chuff under two inches in size. But as you can see there, pretty chunky bezels surrounding it. All the same, this thing is extremely impressive. Again, for the price, it's actually AMOLED tech. 
the same as what you'll get on most premium priced smartwatches. You've got nice sharp contrast there. And of course, when the screen hibernates, it's good news for you always on display. It means there's guzzling practically no battery power whatsoever because most of the pixels are just switched off. And that panel is pleasingly sharp as well. 332 pixels per inch, so even tiny text is clearly legible. And when it hits peak brightness, you get around 600 nits out of this thing, which is good for outdoor visibility. So even in direct sunlight, you can generally see what is going on. Unfortunately, there's no auto brightness here on the Nothing Watch Pro, however. That's one of the areas where they've definitely cut costs. So that means you do have to manually tweak it. Unfortunately, that's pretty easy to do. Just drag down the little quick toggles like so, and away you go. And the Nothing Watch Pro's UI is pretty straightforward and streamlined. It's very similar to what you get on most other smartwatches. So just swipe left and right and you'll access various widgets, including your health stats. Got a weather update. You can see how much sleep you've actually managed to get. However, there doesn't appear to be any obvious way of actually changing up which widgets appear when you swipe left and right, changing the order or deleting any that you don't use. Am I just being a massive dum-dum? Possibly, but I can't find any obvious way of doing it here via the watch or via the app. Maybe that's a feature that's coming in a future update, who knows? As I showed you before, you can swipe down to access quick toggles, including a handy torch feature, good if you're trying to find the bogs in the middle of the night. You've got do not disturb, raise to wake, and a power saver feature as well. And then last up, if you swipe up from that main display, you'll access your notifications. It's very basic notifications tracking, similar to what you'll get on a watch from the likes of Huawei. You can basically tap a notification and read a little bit of a message, but you can't actually respond to it or anything. There's no way of deleting it. And then once you've read the notification, it'll just disappear from the list. And despite its budget price, the Nothing Watch Pro also boasts a built-in microphone and speaker. So yeah, you can actually take phone calls on this thing. It works really well. The microphone clearly picks up your voice, even in quite a loud environment. Unfortunately, however, if you want to actually make a phone call, you will have to manually insert all of your contacts. They don't get imported from your phone via Google or anything. Although if you actually know the number, you can just dial it. And the Nothing Watch Pro also supports voice assistant shenanigans as well, although it's pretty basic stuff. You'll find this squirreled away in the apps menu, which you access via a quick push of the single button over on the right edge. And the voice assistant isn't actually built into the watch itself. It just uses your phone's assistant and relays the results. And again, this feature can be a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. To be honest, I don't really use the Google Assistant very often at all, so I'm not really too bothered. There you go, quite a few other apps here on the Nothing Watch Pro. All the main stuff that you would expect, really, including fitness-related shenanigans. You can, of course, control your music on your smartphone. So if you've got a track or a podcast playing or whatever, you can quickly pause it, you can skip a track, change the volume, etc. You also have a camera remote feature as well, which only works with Android, not with iOS. This does the job just fine if you're one of these annoying people who uses a selfie stick or whatever. Just a quick tap and the photo is instantly taken. And of course, you've got the obligatory stopwatches and timers and a bit of find my phone action. But if you were hoping for support for Google Pay or some other form of contactless payments, well, you're sh out of luck. Now, when it comes to the fitness related shenanigans, well, you've got your basic activity tracking. Might be a little bit optimistic on the old steps count there, but not too bad. Heart rate monitor, SPO2 monitor. That all seems quite reliable, seems in line with what I'm getting from other watches. You've got 24 hour tracking and the Nothing Watch Pro can also give you a heads up if it detects a high heart rate, for instance. But yeah, don't expect the Nothing Watch Pro to detect any arterial stiffness or anything like that. You've also got a stress monitor, which gives you a score based on how chilled you are. And you can quickly and easily start an exercise session as well, just with a quick tap. As you can see, this gives you a real-time readout of how long you've been exercising for, current heart rate, etc. You've got proper built-in GPS as well, five system positioning if you are doing a run or something like that. And then if you just long press that button, you can cancel your workout and also lock the screen, which is quite handy if you're doing something like swimming, for instance. And as usual, you've got your basic sleep tracking shenanigans, which can tell you exactly when you fell asleep and how good your sleep was. No little tips on how to improve your sleep or anything. It's pretty basic stuff. And last up, battery life. And one of the benefits of that chunky frame is you've got a pretty sizable 340 milliamp hour capacity cell crammed inside of there. That's bigger than the likes of what you'll find in the Pixel Watch 2, for instance. And nothing reckons you'll get around 13 days of use, almost two weeks from a full charge of this bad boy. That might be the case if you have the screen brightness set to low and you knock off all the features. But personally, I've had the always-on display on. I've had the 24-hour heart rate and SPO2 tracking, all that good stuff. 
full on notifications. I'm generally tracking one exercise a day for around 20 minutes. And I found I get sort of between five to six days of use from a full charge. So close to a week, not too bad at all. Comparable to what you get from the likes of the Huawei watches. Certainly a hell of a lot better than what you'll get with those Wear OS watches. And then when the Nothing Watch Pro needs to be charged back up, just bung it on that proprietary magnetic charging dock thing. It's a little bit fiddly and annoying, but whatever. Sadly, there's no support for standard Qi wireless charge and it does use an actual connection. And there you have it, my lovelies. That and a tasty wee nutshell is the fresh new Nothing Watch Pro. So as I say, 69 quid here in Blighty. Kind of hard to get a hold of in a lot of places. You can grab it from the Nothing store in Soho. And you can find it in various places online as well. So it'd be great to hear your thoughts on the Nothing Watch Pro. Are you tempted? Have you been using it? Please smash your comments down below. Please do bug subscribe, ding that notifications bell, burp, burp, burp. And have yourselves a bloody wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.